Good morning. Welcome to another Sunday here at Augustana Lutheran Church. Today, we're going to be looking at Luther's small catechism. Now, what Luther's small catechism is, was when Martin Luther was alive in the 1600s, 1517 uh, and on, a lot of people didn't know what the Bible actually said. In fact, the only Bibles that were available were in the hands of the clergy. And so the clergy told them what was in the Bible. Well, Luther believed firmly that the Christian faith belonged in the home. Now, we also believe that here at Augustana Lutheran Church. We believe that it belongs in each and every one of our homes. And so that's why the small catechism was made. The small catechism, that is teachings, teach us what the Bible says about certain things. And so, as we go through these Ten Commandments, I want you to try your very best to memorize the Ten Commandments, as well as their meanings. If you can memorize the Ten Commandments in order, you will get something special. Okay, First Commandment. You shall have no other gods. What does this mean? We should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. Again, you shall have no other gods, or you shall have no other gods before me. And Luther has the meaning as, we should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. Try to put that in your mind, in your memory, and if you ever get stuck, make sure to look over here at the altar, and right here you will see from Lucas Crinock the Elders, painting. Uh, you see Moses receiving the Ten Commandments and two people here bowing down before an idol. And this is the beginning of the First Commandment. First Commandment, Second Commandment, Third Commandment, Fourth, Fifth, Sixth, Seventh, Eighth, Ninth, Tenth. So these are all helps and hints. So you can look over here if you need a little assistance. You shall have no other gods before me. What does this mean? We should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. Our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you uh, this Sunday as you prepare for divine service to receive his forgiveness. Amen. See you in divine service.